Hey everybody, welcome to Monster Energy Supercross 4. In this video, I want to share with you guys all of the content that the game has to offer. And we're lucky to be able to do this early before the game comes out. So you can make an informed decision on do you want to buy it or not. I am going to offer up some opinions, some pros, some cons, and my, my thought of just the value. But it's different for everyone. But hopefully you can scan through this video, see everything the game has to offer, and uh, listen to some of my opinions. But... It's nice to have this game early to be able to share this with you guys beforehand, but I am going to try to do this as quickly as possible, but you can imagine it does take a little bit, so feel free to just scan on through. Uh, on this homepage, overall, I actually, the UI, I like it. It accomplishes what it needs to accomplish. Um, maybe people that design this kind of thing might nitpick it a little bit more, but you use the bumpers to scan across really your main menus, uh, and then you use your left stick to scan between these different window panes and your right stick to select between the different pages in those window panes. I don't know why I'm even saying window, just panes. But uh, this homepage, basically just some general stuff, news, downloadable content, notes, recommended tracks. Um, if you click on that, it'll show you just some of the different online tracks uh, and their rating, things like that. Options page, pretty basic. Single player, that's where you really get into it. Um, you can start your new or start a career or uh, resume a career hop into event and you can do your normal single event um, or just a time attack pretty basic there championship we all know this official or custom championship where you can just select a variety of different tracks um, short or long you know you could do a four four race championship right and you can do it on any of the 250 coasts or 450. Uh, pretty basic standard stuff there. Uh, this is also a place where you can hop into the compound directly, right around the compound with all the different supercross tracks and motocross track and a little bit of free riding. Uh, we might check out the compound just quickly, but that's more of a time waster and something that's worth you exploring if you pick up the game. Um, let's see, multiplayer. Only thing I really have to say here is I was talking to the devs and they said that the race director mode has been improved to be able to have just uh, accurate viewing is probably the best way that I can explain it. Um, just It won't be all jittery and, and inaccurate. So it should be a really nice way to have some races. And uh, I have some fun things coming with a Discord for my channel where everyone can join in and we'll be doing some race director races. So um, keep an eye out for that. It's coming. Um, the only other thing I guess I can say about multiplayer is that we did that influencer show match. It's I think what they were calling it. It uh, the multiplayer ran great. Granted, it was only with what four other guys and myself, uh, and it all ran smooth. Contact felt good. It wasn't uh, they weren't flapping their uh, arms or their elbows like they uh, they were in a previous game. So it all works really really well, and hopefully that is true through the launch. Um, let's see, create the spot to go into the track editor or rider customization. Now this rider customization really is all about, uh, your basic information, right? Your number, where you're from celebrations. You can pick a variety of them or pay to unlock different ones. I really want to get the knickknacks for example, uh, but they're 60 K. So just little different things that are nice to be able to unlock as you go. I usually don't mess with that too much myself. Um, let's see. So as you jump into accessories, um, I guess not accessories, but really just your appearance, you have option for head, um, your beard, things like that. And you can change the color, um, eyes, things like that. Admittedly, I can't get the beard to work right now. Um, uh, it's light, which is kind of strange. So I could be doing something wrong, but it is selected and I have the color selected a brown, so it's just really faint so it is what it is but i'm sure that's an easy fix accessories you can go tattoo or piercings it all gets a little silly as you can imagine but it's nice to be able to have some customization of your character um, and you can buy all different kinds of stuff let's see is there anything kind of weird white circle nothing weird really um some halloween stuff sweet uh yeah change your eye color, things like that. So that's what that page really is. This isn't the customization of your gear or your bike or anything like that. Um, presets, that just hops into kind of those preset teams, things like that. If you want to hop onto, uh, well, really it gives you a spot for each individual custom rider that you want to build. So you can just select them and not have to like change all your gear to switch it up. So that's, that's nice. But when you go over to official, you can kind of bounce through the, uh, the real teams 
and unlock that to be able to ride. So pretty cool. Okay, so in the presets, that's the best place to select to customize each individual one and go directly to your bike, your rider, things like that. I'm gonna go through this super, super quick, so forgive me, you know that there's tons and tons of customization and that's what matters, right? Hopefully um, it's not too nitpicky, but you can buy bikes here, which is pretty nice. It's just kind of in that kind of hidden menu behind the presets. So um, buy all the different bikes, your normal manufacturers, you're not gonna see gas gas here just because it's the previous season. But once you buy a bike, then you can go to components and go crazy. As you can imagine, there are so many options and it's that way for every single one of these. I do like the way the menu set up. You use the bumpers to switch between brands. So boom, we're at Renthal, then we'll go to Pro Taper and just scan through with your left stick. And there's just so many options. It gets pretty ridiculous. Um, tons and tons and tons of customization. So I dig that quite a bit. And it's the same with every single one of these options. So obviously bar pad is one where you might be a little limited, but even here, just because we're rocking pro taper bars, you still have all these different options. So pretty sweet on the bars and the bar pad. Grips are no exception. Uh, ODI, I'm rocking these white Emig grips on this Husky, which is kind of cool, even though they'd get super dirty. I think the only MA grips I've had in real life are the blue and white when I had that Yamaha, the 450. Um, these, yeah, but again, so many options. Pro grip. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Customization is definitely one of the strengths of this game. Really, really cool to be able to make your own bike and rider hand guards no exception i mean ufo again since i was just talking about that yamaha i had these blue and white ones on and i think these are the same uh, that dio's running right now i believe he has another set of these on there he turned he's the one that showed them to me um they're, they're pretty cool hand guards um as far as hand guards go right it can only be so cool <laughs> but again lots and lots of options from manufacturers and then each manufacturer you go to um, you have tons of options. So I'm rocking this yellow seat, but again, options, SDG has quite a few. It's cool to see all these different brands in here. But look at this. That's just SDG. <laughs> Bottle Syndicate. Like, you have options to make a pretty sweet bike. So um, this isn't stuff that you didn't already know, but one thing I do want to make sure you know is stuff is expensive. Suspension isn't too, too bad. I have these uh, nice WP forks on there, but say we want to buy these Showa's, 18K, not too, too bad. But as you get into things like exhaust, go, let's, let's go FMF, 60K. That's quite a bit. Uh, you definitely have to do some racing and grind to, to work your way up to be able to get uh, the different stuff. But given an exhaust, you have some options. Pro Circuit, Termignani, Two Brothers, Yoshimura, Everything that you would really expect. Some cool options, right, for all of these. So um, what's next? Sprockets. Even sprockets are expensive. Um, let's go Renthal, whatever. Oof. 27K, even just for that. Now, again, I think you have a couple options on the sprocket. Oh, okay, I see. Um, tires, same thing. Let's see how much I'm rocking these Michelins. Sorry, this menu is a little funky, but kind of get used to it, I'm sure. Dunlops, 12K. Not bad. Rims, Excel, lots of options here. Changing the hubs. Warp 9, again, tons of options here. Brakes, same thing. Say you want to do Brembo's, you can kind of do their base set, or you can upgrade it to the oversized, and that's 55K for brakes. So again, save your pennies is what I'm getting at. But tons of options, as you would expect. Colors, you can go through and say, hey, we, I want this bike to have maybe not yellow hubs, maybe some gold ones just to go with the uh, gold bars, whatever you want to do. 
pink get get crazy um, and it's that way with all of these options here break cable spokes I think it's all pretty much the standard stuff that you could do in the past let's see here graphics that's kind of one of the weird things um, they did a good job I mean you have a lot of options once you really go through it but it's always a tough one to do graphics I think it's hard to please everybody but I will say there are some pretty nice options for this husky as I scan through um, even just some basic ones like this uh, it's not all just crazy right <laughs> uh, nobody wants to just put something totally outrageous on their bike subtle is typically a little bit better um, but there are some options out there as you scan through graphics it's worth showing some of these yeah like some of these look pretty cool it's like all white and gray setup. Uh, I mean, you even have like Milestone, what they have, like the fiery one. This one's dollar bills. <laughs> you know, you get the idea. Um, some options for some different graphics for your bike. So this is the main place to be able to get to and adjust all of that. You can customize numbers here as well. And that really is just uh, moving them around, left, right, center, that kind of thing and making them bigger or smaller so nothing too too fancy there we'll move on over to rider and you can imagine it's the exact same way i can't go through all these but i'm rocking this 100 percent helmet and i'm still upgrading this in the uh, career because i like to ride as kind of the top rider sometimes so i don't always adjust this but the customization is definitely there i mean a stars i mean look at the different helmet options it's crazy just going through brands if you can't find something that you think is cool and you're going to complain about customization it's like come on even if it's like oh they don't have the latest greatest this it's like come on they have some pretty awesome options here as you scan through things i mean so many options but <clears throat> i can't show every single thing I just want you to know that there aren't any issues with the amount of content here. Goggles, same situation. Suit. Again, the full set. Let's see what Troy Lee has for just an example. It's always nice to scan through the weird Troy Lee stuff. Let's go to Fox is going to have a bunch. Yeah. So tons of stuff through here as expected. I would like to get some boots, but I'm sure I can't afford them again. Things are pretty expensive. I'm rocking A-Star helmet, so probably should rock. So Tech 7s, they're all Tech 7s. Hmm. That's weird, you can't just run a set of white, normal white. I guess those have some red on them. Anyway, these are 15K, but still lots of Lots of lots of boots. Pretty cool. Neck brace, only a couple options here, but Liette has more options. The Alpine Stars just has the one that I'm wearing right now. Butt patch, these just, I mean, look at this. This is how many butt patches there are. Most of them are pretty silly, <laughs> but there's quite a few here. You can buy these, they're all 10K, so. That's that, you can change your number style and it's worth noting that there are quite a few more options than some of the older games. Number color, you can change that as well. Your nickname, you can change the font as, as uh, kind of like you could on the first. So color, same thing. So that's really your customization. I know that was a super quick look, but I mean, I can't post a four hour video. So uh, official here, you can pay and unlock the different uh, teams so you can ride for them if you want to get the JGR set up or you want to ride monster 
Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool to have those options just drop 85K and then you can ride as that team. So pretty cool. I know people have complained about that in the past. And again, same thing for 450. That is that for customization. Now, I think it's worth showing you guys the track editor now. Now, if I hop into the track editor, I'm gonna just show you a quick overall of what's in there so you can see if there's new content. I will have a video specifically just on me making a track. So keep an eye out for that very, very soon. But let's hop into the track editor just so you can see um, what's going on. No to the track, uh, sorry, to the tutorial. Indoor stadium, outdoor stadium, baseball, Again, re rectangular diamond, large diamond, rectangular diamond. We'll just go large rectangular outdoor, sure. Again, a lot of the uh, same controls and whatnot. There are some different uh, options through here, as you would expect, right? So again, say you want to throw that thing right in the middle. You have a couple different camera options. You can get down here or do it from far away. It's kind of nice to play with a little bit. Let's just move over to straights. We'll have a short-ish straight. Now we'll get down into it. What do we want to have? Obviously, your options for whoops. Probably don't want that first section to be whoops. It tells you the information just above, so three foot three inches, four foot four eleven, you know, all these different jumps. So probably just want to do a somewhat subtle jump. Let's do this almost almost six footer. Then we'll do a little small guy here. And then we'll do this landing. So it's kind of a triple. Then we can add a straight. You guys get the idea. Maybe we will do some whoops after that, just to make it sketchy. So a lot of options for whoops, split sides, kind of same stuff as before. Let's do these big old fat whoops. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so specials, you can see some of this stuff, just so you can see up into the stadium would be pretty wild. Finish lines, color, kind of silly, but this is some of that customization you can change. A little bit deeper, you know, the gate, what that looks like. Pretty cool to have the option to mess with some of that stuff just to make that track your own little by little. So it's little improvements, but it's definitely there. So um, I may as well show you a lot of the different jumps as we get a little bit closer so you can see some of the crazier stuff. These bigger lines, dragons back, dragon bags, kind of split stuff. Again, the specials we should looked at. So yeah, pretty pretty cool. Um, turns, it's always nice to see the options for these as well. Some, some with big berms, some a little bit tighter, some big stuff, small stuff with an outside kind of jump on, on it. A lot of stuff that we've seen before. But yeah, so that's a quick, quick look at the track editor um, and really all of the content in it. Then obviously, you can try the track and as you build it, the normal stuff. So really not too much to say about this, but it is nice that that's in there and you'll see a track build video on my channel here soon. The cool thing is you can go back and edit the track and change things after you build it. So that's pretty cool. And there are some tutorials if you're struggling with the controls. So uh, again, nothing too exciting there, but some of the good stuff that's part of this game. So a couple things that I do want to talk about before we get deep into the writing is I want to show you when you do a career because there are some pretty cool things about this new career. Now, you start as futures. So it's really, really sweet that they added that. Um, you can hop, you hop on here as like a full-blown amateur going out to futures and you try to do well. And then you move up to rookie and that's where you access this rookie championship. So you complete this. And then to get to pro, you have to get a podium and a rookie championship to get to pro. So it's no longer just hop right into pro. You really have to work your way up to that, which some people might not like because of the grind, but they've added some pretty interesting stuff as you get into 
the career. Um, they've added quite a bit, honestly. Um, this is kind of the hub for your career. Now, um, you can do these different trainings, and that's like where you go to the Supercross track, and you need to pass a whole bunch of riders in a certain amount of time, that kind of thing. And there's other little drills or skills like that that you do, and it ranks up your character. Um, that's pretty sweet. Um, I guess the only other thing, these extra events I haven't had happen, but those come up. But you can go to your rider, and this is where it's pretty interesting, abilities. You can see on the right in that grayed out menu, um, that's where you're ranking this all up. So as you do better and you get skill points unlocked, you get to go through here and change things. Now, if you look at the bottom, that's turn control, and they're all each section is the same. So you just uh, increase the maximum attainable turn. Boom, boom, boom. And to unlock some of these ones in red, you have to have the rookie championship or the pro championship. So it's going to take a little bit to get all of this unlocked. Um, let's see, banking management. So this is all cornering, right? So bumper physical resistance. Um, again, reduces the ability, abilities penalty during an injury. So that's pretty interesting as you go into information. Uh, it gives you a little bit more. You kind of have to unlock them one by one. Not much, not much there. But again, um, they tried to make this a little bit more detailed. Scrub, right? So it's cleaner scrubs, increases scrub execution times. So um, braking improves braking, um, power and skill, bike control. So it's ground control, control when landing, and yeah, pretty pretty interesting. So control in the air all that and you unlock it so you're going to slowly improve your character as you go through the career which is a new thing not only do you have to move through futures to rookie and then to pro you also are going to be improving the skills of your rider the whole way something new something fun i'm actually going to be doing a career on my channel here so look out for those videos coming very 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 soon um, but hopefully this gives you an idea of some new content that's available without completely wasting your time it's worth noting in your career this is where you can also modify your bike and rider so um journal is just a spot that shows you some of this information pretty um interesting i guess <laughs> um yeah and that's that's pretty much what i wanted to show you you can look at your stats and change your race op race options again you can go um the full real deal short medium realistic for your length um, realistic difficulty, advanced physics, joint brakes off or on if you want, rider weight manual, transmission manual, you know, you can change it to make it how you want. Do you want to sit back, not have to worry too much? You have options. If you want to take it hardcore and try to be real serious about it, you can do that as well. You sign contracts here as well um, to be able to be on an official team or you can just pick a sponsor and modify your bike how you want if you do a team you got to have the team's graphics just like in real life so anyway pretty cool with the career here uh worth sharing that with you now i think the best way to show you some of the physics and give you some of my opinion is to go into a single event we'll go time attack and we'll ride 250 first i guess and we'll go Anaheim 1, again, race options. We're just going to make sure that this is correct. Flow aid. It's pretty cool. You can do the different ghosts. So you can do 1v1. So it slowly increases the speed of your ghost. So you can try to beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. Uh, or you can just ascent. Um, sorry, the ascent is the one. You can see uh, ghost ascent. The beaten ghost will immediately be replaced by a stronger one. So that's it. And then 1v1 is just your normal ghost. So um, that's pretty much it. Let's hop into a little bit of gameplay. Thank you guys for kind of hanging around. I know that beginning part is a little bit long and drawn out, but that's what the skip function's for. So let's go directly onto track and just kind of talk about the way the game feels. Uh, again, this is a 250. We need to <laughs> we need to ride the 450 as well. He's got to learn the track, right? So that's a big triple and then a massive triple here. So this track is pretty unique. I will say that the 250 seems to ride pretty well. 
You don't have to stress a whole bunch about like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to clear some of the bigger stuff. For the most part, it seems like you can clear some of the same stuff. You just have to hit it with a little bit different finesse. Um, that's really my best input. I will say that the 250 is more fun to ride than ever before, and I don't really know what it is. Um, admittedly, I don't spend a whole lot of time on the 250. I jump onto the 450 pretty quickly and make videos and whatnot, but um, I'm actually really enjoying the 250 and trying to learn what the game's supposed to feel like at the beginning to kind of coerce you in and get you comfortable. Be nice if people race the 250 more often in like multiplayer lobbies, things like that. So that maybe be a good add. Um, a couple things to address. I've talked about in my previous videos on my, kind of my first looks when I got my hands on the game in I guess I don't know if you want to call it beta, but I guess alpha stages. I'm trying to show you there, but the uh, whips are the same as usual. Again, you push the sticks together, or you try to do something different, and it kind of just wonky, ugly whip like that. You do have some movement in the air, um, but don't expect any real changes. I mean, that's you just can't make it look cool. Um, don't expect any changes in the air physics direction. I think one nice thing about this game is they make it where you can't move the bike in the air a whole lot as far as like if you're jumping off track heading this direction you can't just whip your bike onto track again and i think that's a positive uh improvement on the game and something that they've improved each time um just to try to make it a little bit more realistic and um they've done well with that so uh yeah in air physics otherwise it's the same old same old so don't expect an improvement there uh, I know another comment I always get as well is ruts. There's no ruts in the game. Um, those are the two things right off the bat. But I, what I will say, because I know this game gets a lot of heat for the whips and no ruts, they do a lot of things really well. And hopefully they get to add those things down the road, but we need to be realistic and understand their limitations. It's not as simple as that. But um, I think it's pretty cool that they just nail the way the bike feels and really offers some really great racing in this game the ground physics are really where this game shines let's all be real there's there's some things where like you're bouncing through a rhythm section or you, you can hit a rhythm section like whoops we all know the same issues and i think this game is pretty much the same uh the whoops feel very similar for example um no big change Oof, that's a big triple out on the 250 but Overall, again, the whoops, no real big change that I'm noticing there. Um, we talked about air physics, ground physics, it's just all the same. I highly recommend separating those joint brakes just so you can play around with that rear brake and slide that rear end around. It's just one of those fun things that they allow you to have. If you're complaining, like run, manual shifting, manual weight, all that stuff so you can really play with the bike and uh, kind of have all those different inputs to play with. Again, scrubbing, whipping, it's all that push your sticks together or apart. Um, really nothing, nothing there. Um, but overall, the game does feel pretty great. Uh, it feels very similar to previous games with just some slight changes. Um, the biggest one as far as the ground physics go is really if you're going into a corner, you can't, I mean, I'm turning as sharp as I possibly can right now. You can't just turn on a dime, right? That's as tight as you can go. So as you get into corners, you really have to set yourself up. You have to slow up into the corner, slow up, get rotated, and then get on the gas at the right time. If you try to get on it early or just try to ride like you could in the first game, it just you just can't do it. You need to set up for your corners, and you need to hit the jump straight. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to pull yourself back onto track. So anyway, that's just a super, super quick look at what the game is like initially. We are going to hop on the 450 and check that out as well. Load times are all pretty decent, uh, no complaints. Again, I'm on PC, so it's hard to say uh, what it's going to be like on consoles. But let's go to event. We'll go to time attack again. 450. Ride this 450 I've got. Um, actually, let's switch up the track. We'll ride Tampa since I've ridden that one. You guys can get a better idea. Of how the game rides again i think 450 is what people ride the most so i want to give you guys a glimpse of this again don't i'm trying to explain myself more than show you guys amazing riding but i'll do my best on the 450 to get around the track halfway decent 
I do like the tracks, the track design, the way it all flows and feels. Some of the tracks are difficult. Um, I'm still getting through all of them, to be honest with you. Um, but they all have some unique feelings to them, and they feel like they're not just the same tracks copy-pasted. Um, I mean, okay, I'm actually glad I totally screwed that up. The sand is nuts. I mean, it is a huge improvement. It's so deep and difficult. As we go around here, you'll see that you have to be on point with that sand. You can't sleep on it and get on the gas a little bit too early. You're just going to spin out like I did there. Again, your normal setup with your preloads from the previous games. You can just lean back and do a normal preload or you can do both sticks and do a dual preload. Lots of different options in rhythms, so we can hit this line here or we can triple onto that table. Again, when you get into trouble, you can do that double stick preload. That was actually kind of rare what I did there. All right, pretty ugly, but let me see if I can put in um, maybe two laps here that just aren't terrible, so you can get an idea. Again, rotate that bike, rear brake, feels pretty nice, down into second. It really pays off to be in the berms in the sweet spot. You push a little bit high or low and you're not gonna have it hold you as much. Again, in the sand, lean back. Pretty fun rhythm there. No preload here, 450, brap. In the third, sometimes you gotta preload to make sure you get over that last triple. Again, your normal scrub. Double preload to get over that middle triple if you don't hit it just right. Double preload to get onto that table. Again, lots of different line choices. Overall, the game feels pretty great. If you watch this, I know it has issues, but if you watch this and think like, oh man, I'm not going to have any fun with that, I think you're crazy. And that's one of my biggest critiques. It is very, very, very similar to the previous games in the same way Madden is. I think we all joke about that's kind of what everyone's going to say. But that's what this is. It's a yearly game where they do little updates as they can, as time allows. Um, and it's pretty great. And you got to imagine the year that uh, Milestone must have had with COVID and then being shut down in Italy and all of that. Um, if any year, it's a good year to give some grace. And if anything, I think they've delivered with another consistent product, slightly improving it as they go. Again, slight, there's no doubt. But there are little things you can point to that are improvements in this game. So why not play it, enjoy it? And uh, yeah, that's, that's my opinion. But I know everybody's different. Kind of the value is all based on the money you have to spend. Um, and how much the, the cost of this game means to you versus other priorities in your life. So it, it just is what it is. But I know every time I pick up this game, I'm always shocked. I'm like, why don't I play this more? It's always fun. And uh, some little modifications and just having the new tracks alone is really fun to be able to play on. Race with your buddies. That's about as deep as I feel like I need to think about it. Um, the game feels pretty nice in general. Again, it's just all about the ground physics. Once you go into the air, it's kind of like, okay, say I just move this one stick. You can move a little bit in the air, but that's about what you can do. Unless you do one of the silly whips or you try to do something silly. Like, I can do that, but, I mean, nobody wants to see that. This triple step on is really fun. You don't need to always do that big preload. If you hit that line just right, you can get away without it, but... Again, your scrubs, things like that. Whoops feel about the same. I don't have too many complaints, but when you... I hit, I went into those nice and fast, was leaning back, and you just get off rhythm, and it's hard to adjust that to time them right every time. So sometimes you're just going to drop into the whoops. But anyway, guys, that is a quick look at the riding, the physics of just the normal tracks. Um, it really shows us the majority of the game. I think... This is definitely something I would consider purchasing, even if you know it feels very similar to previous games. Enjoy some of the new content if you can. Um, and if you can't, that's fine. Maybe next year it'll be a bigger bump for you and, and you'll enjoy it if you need to save some money. But uh, I enjoy these games just about every single time I hop into them. Uh, I am going to leave the compound for you guys to check out, or maybe I'll make a video exploring the whole compound. But you know what to expect. Lots of different tracks and a big area to play around on. 
hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of a look i know uh most of it is just kind of talking and going through everything but hopefully you know now what is in the game what it has to offer the highlights to me are the career with the skill points and all of that um customization is always great and i guess the only other thing that really is interesting to me are some of the little improvements we are yet to see like the race director how how improved is that um because the vis visuals of that if that's really nice it'd be fun to run some stuff um and yeah i think it's it's a little bit of an improvement but pretty much all things the same do you buy it do you not buy it that's up to you guys but hopefully you guys are a little bit more informed now of what the game has and what the game looks like when it's riding and then look out on my channel for more detailed videos of a championship of a career is going to be something coming the compound a building a full supercross track and you can check that track out here very soon when you guys get the game anyway that is it guys let me know your thoughts in the description and uh yeah are you gonna buy it are you not gonna buy it let me know below thank you for watching until next time i'll talk to you later peace out